to my channel cooking with Nikki today I will be preparing some karela and chicken and here is my recipe then so let's get started in the bowl here we have some seasoned up chicken and here we have some tomato shallot garlic onion to to vegetable cube and here we have some tomato paste that's for color this if you want this optional and here we have all proper seasoning black pepper garlic powder if you have onion powder you can use that too it's up to you and in this bowl here we have the karela in Guyana we soak um sorry in Guyana we chip our karela we add some salt on that and then we put it in the sun to reduce that bitterness but if you want you can just put the salt wash it out and there's it because the salt is it get out some of the bitterness and the sun for about a while you know since I growing up the sun is help get out the bitterness too but I put it in the sun already and as you can see here a lot of juice everything is out so all I'm going to do is wash it I'm going to squeeze it a little wash it and if you want to you can add a little sugar the sugar too is to get out all of the bitterness this if you want to leave if you want it with bitterness you don't have to put it in the sun or had no sugar to it or anything but correct is really good for you <laughs> really good for your body and the sun too you don't have to do it but when I growing up this I see my grandmother do it my father my mother my auntie I this how I see them do it I have one auntie she's the only person who cook Corella for me to eat she could cook a Corella when she don't cook the Corella you will not even taste a bitterness and I used to love how she's cooked Corella and let's get started In my canary, I'll be adding in my chicken, well seasoned up with a with a grind shallot. You know, we blend up our shallot and stuff. So it well seasoned up with a piece of um, ginger and these stuff. Yeah, that's it. So I'm going to add this into my canary and show you guys. Here I add it to my canary. I will leave it to fry up. I will leave it to fry up for 5 minutes and I will get back to it and add in the tomato paste so the tomato paste can get that color to fry up to get that little brownish color by the time these are fine up I get back to you guys and here is my curl by the time the chicken is frying up I'm going to squeeze it make sure you want clean okay camera let's cook your cooking I'm going to squeeze it as you can see, a lot of juice is out of it. I'm going to squeeze it and wash it. And I'm not going to be adding in no salt because I squeeze the corella with salt, everything. So I will not be adding in no salt. The cube, the apple of the season, the black pepper, the garlic powder, and the shallow, the onion, the garlic, the potato, the um, sorry, the tomato. That will give it all it needs. But it's up to you if you want to add some more salt, it's up to you. If you want to add in it, that's up to you, it's your choice. Everybody don't cook the same, but this is my version how I cook chicken curry. This is my curry when I finish. Squeeze it, wash it and squeeze it. As you can see, I'm going to be juice because it had a lot. So as you squeeze all that juice, it's going to string. And as you can see here, so I'm going to put this aside and check for the chicken now. Okay guys, after 20 minutes, this is how the chicken is going to look like. It has to fry up more because you don't want to use nothing wrong. So I'm adding in the tomato paste now. I'll let the tomato fry up. The tomato paste and the chicken fry for 5 minutes and then I will be adding in the shallows and stuff. This is how it looks like when I had in my tomato paste. I'll allow this to fry up. For five minutes, so you can let that here. So that the tomato paste can fry up properly. Okay. You can see it frying up there. I'll leave it aside somewhere. After my chicken frying done fry up, I had in my 
my onion and here we have five clove I got it. And I will start adding this stuff here now. You see I have it here and here we have um, a green pepper. This will be the that one flavor. And I will start it up a little bit for a minute and then I will be I am adding my tomato and the yeah, I don't want to have any tomato because when I eat it I want to kill the tomato. So after this one first I'll be adding in my sriracha and my kidney and my kidney sauce. It's finished frying up now so I'm going to add in my sriracha. See here, I'm adding my tomato, my black onion, my onion, and my garlic powder and my apple for seasoning and I'm adding my food as well. So I'm going to start it and leave this a cook. And as well guys, I went ahead and I had in a pinch of sugar. As I say, it's up to you if you wanted to do to this. You could leave it just like that. But I went ahead and added in a pinch of sugar. And I would not be covering this because if I cover it, it will spread a lot of water. So I will leave this open and allow it to fry down. And I will get back to you guys with that. Hey guys, there's the finishing my Corella chicken and I will be having this with some rice. I hope you guys enjoy this video and you guys should give it a try. So let me plate it and I see you. Okay guys, here is my Corella and chicken. See how it look lovely and I'm sure it is so delicious. So I pray that you guys give this recipe a try. And thank you guys so much for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Leave a like, comment, tell me what you guys think. And I hope you guys enjoy. Bye.